Hi everyone, my name is Rosemary, founder of TechAble Assistive Technology. Today, I'm going to show how an individual can use a computer only with a head movement using a head control mouse. Um, like I mentioned on my previous video, I was going to introduce both head control mouse and eye control mouse, but the new version of eye control mouse, which I have, the Toby Eye Tracker 5, still has issues on Windows interaction features. Um, so when the company released the solution for the issues, I'm going to test and if it works well, then I'm going to um, introduce it later. So today I'm going to use a head control mouse and I'll show two mouse click software, one for Windows operating system and the other one is Mac built-in um, program, Mac operating system built-in program. So um, let's get started. So the camera for this head mouse is placed above the laptop um, screen, like you can see here. So this is the camera for the head control mouse, and it comes with sets of reflective dot stickers. I've placed one sticker on my forehead, but it can be placed on an eyeglasses or um, hat. And um, so this camera will see the movement of this reflective dot. So if I move my head, the camera sees the movement of this dot. And as you can see on the screen, it moves the mouse pointer. And there are many mouse click software programs available in the market. Some are free, some are paid. Um, and the one I've been using and I really like is this program called Point and Click. Uh, I've loaded on the screen. So um, this mouse click program is designed for anyone who has difficulty in clicking buttons on a physical mouse. So as long as the user can move a cursor using a mouse or an alternative mouse like this head control mouse, um, this program can send mouse clicks. So not only the left mouse click like here. Let me actually cover the reflective dot so I can control the mouse movement using a standard mouse. Um, so I can explain. So as you can see here on this program, this button is a left mouse click and this button will send right click and this button will um, send um, left click and hold. So when if you need to move a um, icon or highlight something, then this button is same as left mouse click and hold the mouse button. This um, button is a double click of the left mouse, left mouse button. And then this button will um, send um, left mouse click repeatedly. So if you need to scroll um, something up and down or left and right, you can use this button. I'll demonstrate um, these all these buttons um, later. But um, like you can see here, it also, I only place this basic um, features for the mouse click, but you can add way more uh, buttons on here by going to their settings. So let me 
open up the on-screen keyboard. Um, if you want to know more about like how to set up the on-screen keyboard and etc., you can watch uh, my previous video, which I've covered the on-screen keyboard. So now let me um, open up a blank word document and type a sentence. Um, and also I'm going to open up Google Chrome and um, just to show how the different features of these buttons can work. Okay, so to open a Word document, I'm going to use this double click button feature. So when I move my pointer to above the Word icon, um, this program send double click and open up the um, Word program. Let me actually do one more time to open up a blank document. Okay, so um, it opened up the blank document. And by default, this program will go back to just left click after it performed the other mouse clicks. So let me bring up the on-screen keyboard. Okay. And then I'm going to type, I'm typing with a head mouse. So, um, like you can see here, with my head movement, I've placed the pointer above each key, on each key of on-screen keyboard, and then this program send this left-click mouse button on the key. Um, and now, let me open, so let me uh, minimize this window. And then I'm going to open up the Google, um, Google Chrome. Okay, so you send the um, double click. And then in here, let me just type um, coronavirus. Here. So after I um, put a keyword on a search um, engine using a on-screen keyboard, um, it bring up different news and articles. So I'm now I'm going to minimize my on-screen keyboard. So I can see um what's on this page and then if i want to scroll down i can use this button and then i can place the cursor here oh actually i have to click the left mouse button first so it knows what button um, signal to send continuously. So 
like you can see here, I've selected the left mouse button first, and then I choose this um, send signal continuously button. So um, it will send the left click signal continuously if I place oops my, my mouse there. Like you can see, I'm not really good at controlling with a head mouse, but um, this at least gives you an idea um, how it can be used. Um, let me actually, let me close this window. And now let me show you how the left click mouse button and hold um, feature works. So I'm going to choose this and now I'm going to move this recycle bin to the other end. So now the left mouse button is clicked and it's hold um, like you can see on the screen. So once I reach the target area, I just stay still and then it will let go the um the icon that it's holding so that's how this left mouse click and hold works let me actually bring it back to where it was so it's very um easy to control um, easy to send the left click, right click, and double click, and click and hold, and many other features with the head control mouse. Okay, so same as the previous setup, um, head control camera is placed above the computer screen and reflective dot is placed on my forehead. Mac has the mouse clicks uh, feature built into its operating system. Um, so this feature is under the accessibility keyboard, um, which I've introduced on my previous video. So I'm going to show how, how um, you can turn on the mouse click uh, feature on, on the keyboard. So for now, I'm going to actually cover um, the reflective dot so I can control the mouse using um, standard mouse. So to turn on the mouse click feature, you need to go to this Apple menu here and system preferences. And then accessibility. And on the left hand side, click keyboard and then click accessibility keyboard. And in here, you need to click options. And on this window, there is a dwell tab. So click dwell. And then uh, make sure these first two boxes are checked. So the first one, allow dwell actions toolbar in panels. This will display the mouse click buttons on the on-screen keyboard. And the second one, show dwell actions in menu bar. This will display the mouse click buttons on the menu bar here on top of the screen. So even though sometimes I minimize the on-screen keyboard so I can see more um, um, things display on my screen. I can still use the dual mouse features by um, go to top of the screen and then accessing it from the um, menu, menu bar.
Okay, so I'm going to leave these two button checked. And then here at the bottom of the page, you can adjust the dwell time. So the amount of time you need to point and wait to select the button, you can adjust it from here. Okay, so for now, 1.25 second, um, it's good. So I'm going to leave it as is. And then I'm going to click done. And now I'm going to check enable accessibility keyboard, which is on screen keyboard. And then minimize this. Okay, so now my um, on-screen keyboard is on and then now I'm going to use my head movement to control the mouse like this. So like I mentioned previously, this um, camera sees this reflective dot placed on my forehead and it sees the movement of my head and control the position of this mouse pointer. And I'm going to cover again. And uh, by default, like you can see here, it's um, selected as the left mouse click button. But in here, this one will send the left mouse button. The second one, this one will send the um, double click of the left mouse button and then this one is the right click this button is the click and hold here it, it's called the drag and drop but um, this is same as the click and hold button on the windows operating system and then the next one is scroll so i'm going to actually show uh, each how each of these buttons can work and that's the pause button so um, I'll leave it as the left mouse click and now let me um, open up a blank word document so if I bring my mouse to um, the word icon then it will you know send the signal of a left mouse button. To open up the blank document, I need to um, use double click. So first I'm gonna choose double click from here and then bring my mouse to the blank document icon. So it send double click on that icon and open up the one blank uh, page. So here, let me type the same sentence. I'm typing with a head mouse um, using on-screen keyboard and the mouse um, pointer. So this is the mouse click button um, also placed on um, top of the menu bar. So like you can see here, you can either use buttons from here or buttons on the keyboard. Okay. Okay, so now I'm going to type um, a sentence.
Okay, so like you can see here, um, I've placed each pointer above uh, on the key of the on-screen keyboard by moving my head and then it sends the left click signal to um, click that button. Now um, I'm going to minimize this button, uh, this window. And then let me um, open Safari. And then same thing, I'm going to search up um, coronavirus. Now I'm going to minimize this keyboard so I can see the screen. And um, to scroll down in here to see what's, um, what other articles or things um, are displayed on this window, um, I can use the scroll feature um, on this mouse. So here, scroll menu, and then so um, this on this mouse click software program works a little differently. So once I choose the um, scroll button. scroll menu button um, it will click that button and you can scroll up and down by placing the cursor close to up edge or down edge so if if I place the cursor on the down edge of the screen then the scroll down um, window will appear and then if I place my mouse on the window it will scroll down. Let me actually show one more time. This time I'm gonna um, show scroll up. So I'm gonna choose one more time the scroll menu button and this time I'm gonna place it to top edge and then here scroll up. So as long as I place my pointer on the scroll up um, window, then it's going to keep scrolling up so um, I can see what's um, everything on the screen. Okay, so now I'm going, by default, it went back to the left click. So now I'm going to minimize, actually, I'm going to quit Safari. And then, um, let me open that uh, Word window. And I'm going to show how the left click and then hold button will work. Okay, so let me click this button on the menu bar. And then I'm going to choose drag and drop. And then move a mouse pointer to different place. So how it worked was after I choose the drag and drop, I move my mouse pointer to the window that I like to move. And then the second point will be the place where I want to move that window to. So actually, let me show that one more time. So Again, the open up the win the um, menu and then click drag and drop and then move to the window to here. 
okay so I first choose the window that I like to move and then second time I move my mouse to where I want to move that window to so uh, window moved okay so that's how uh, left left click and then drop um, hold works so the head control mouse which I've used today it's called head control nano uh, but I like to mention that the head control um, device which I've recommended the most to my client it's um, actually this one the smart nav head control um, because of its functionality and accuracy compared to its affordable price but the company ended its production in um, 2018 so since then I've tested a few head control devices and also software which can be used with a webcam but the products which have similar um, functionality and accuracy to smart nav are two to three times more expensive than the smart nav like um, head control nano but it should be noted that unlike the smart nav um, device head control nano can be used on any devices that use um, USB mouse connection so um, it can be used not only um, on a computer but it can be also used with um, tablets and smartphones in the notes section of this video I've included the links to um, smart nav and also um, head mouse nano so if you like to know more about those devices you can go to link and you will be able to find more information about them and I've also included the link where you can download the free um, mouse click software the point and click mouse click software for Windows operating system um, in the notes section as well so please look at the notes section for those link okay um, that's it for today. Thank you for watching.